What is up guys, welcome back. This is part two of my making a Discord bot using discord.py rewrite. Uh, if you haven't checked out part one yet, go ahead and check that out. Link is in the description. Um, today we're going to be focusing on um, embeds and some just basic events that most servers use. So um, all these links I'm going to be using are in the description. And uh, the first one here is, if you know, this is the this is the normal docs. This is not the rewrite docs because most of the event references here work the same in rewrite. For the ones that are different in rewrite, they have them listed here. And like I said, I'll leave this in the description. Uh, these are all the changes. So any of these that are in here don't work like they say in here. You have to check out the changes here. Uh, we're not going to be using any of these today. Uh, we might in the future, but for now we're just going to be focusing on some in this one. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is make a like a welcome message. So someone joins, it'll send a message saying like "Welcome to the server" in in an embed. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the embed. Uh, this is how I learned to make embeds whenever I was first getting into coding. So I'll leave this in the description as well. You can um, do a lot of things with this actually. So if you look over here, this run right here is right here. So if we delete this here, then it just removes it over here. So it basically just lets you design all your embeds here. I've already went ahead and designed the one we're going to be using today. And if you press down here on generate code, and then click on discord.py. This is the general code. We will have to change up a few things with this, but if you just want to go ahead and copy that, and then we're going to head over to our code. This is the same code that we did last time. I just got rid of my bot.run and I put it down there so I wouldn't have to blur it out. Um, so we'll just make a few little spaces here, and then we're going to do at bot.event. I always add those and I don't know why. Async def and now we're going to do on member join. So if we go back here and go to event re references and we search up on member join. So this returns member. So if we go back to our code, we would just put member here. So this will give us the member that joins. So we'll be able to reference the member whenever we get them to join. So if we then paste in our little embed here, you can just space that out right. And then right here where I put this, um, we're going to be formatting this. So there's a few ways, a couple ways you can do this. One, you can dot format, which I don't recommend. I recommend doing it this other way, but dot format and then we're going to do um, lin list member dot guild dot members. So I, we're not actually going to put it in this this way here. So we're going to copy this, get rid of this dot format. And then if we go to the beginning of our quotes here and pre put an F, now we'll just be able to put this right in here. So if we then, um, this basically just formats it in here. It runs a little bit faster and it's just honestly looks a lot nicer. Um, we're going to remove this discord.color. We don't need that and remove the parentheses. And then if we come up here, we're also going to import date time because the way they do it in that is also wrong. So we're going to be putting it in ourselves. So remove this timestamp. There we go. Remove the timestamp. And then we're going to do embed.timestamp equals date time dot date time dot UTC now 
So this is gonna get the time that they join and put it in the footer. And then in the footer, we will just put another one of these here. Put the F in front of the quotes there and type member member.guild. And then this here, remove this link they defaultly gave us, put another one of those. And this will be member dot guild dot and then if we go in here I will show you guys where to find this all right so if we go down here I will also this is a I'll leave this direct link in the description as well this is where we can see all of the references to guild and guild is the server so if we go down here we're gonna want guild dot icon so this is just the guilds like the servers picture so with it whatever their picture is the icon so if we go back here and then we put guild dot icon and then if we underscore URL that then that will provide us with the URL to it allowing us to put it in the footer so for this here we're going to once again do this and we're going to do member dot name so this just gives us the members name just their name not the numbers it doesn't try to ping them or anything like that it just gives us their name and then if we remove this default link they give us and then we do member dot avatar URL so this gives us the members profile picture basically and then for this thumbnail here, we will also put in their avatar URL. So we'll do member dot avatar URL. And then down here where this says bot dot say, this is how this would work in the normal Python version, not the rewrite. So what we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to first want to get a channel. So if we do uh, member, sorry, await member dot, yeah, member dot guild dot get channel ID equals, and then we're going to want to give this bot a channel ID. So whatever channel we want the messages to be sent into. So I'm gonna go get a channel ID and set up a channel really quick in my Discord to show you this, how this works. And I will be right back. All right, guys, I am back. And one thing I actually realized, it is not this. Uh, it is bot, so this just tells the bot to get it. And then I've got my ID here for the channel that we're gonna have it send into. And then we're gonna have this equal channel. So channel equals await bot.get channel ID. So, and then we're gonna do channel dot send. So this will send our embed here. This is all of our embed. It sends this into the channel here when a member joins. So I'm gonna go to my Discord here and this is where it will be sent into. So let me go get a account to join and then I will show you how this works. Okay guys, so two things really quick. I misspelled this up here. I'm sure at least if some of you caught onto that. And we're gonna actually remove this await here. I always forget that that does not need awaited. So we're gonna go ahead and save our file. And then we're gonna run the bot. So once again, that's Python and then your file name .py. That turns your bot on. And up here where we put I am online, that will tell us when the bot is fully online. So I am online. Now we're gonna go to my alt here. We're gonna join the Discord. And if we go back in here, there is our embed and it's showing the welcome message. So we could have probably phrased this a little better, but as you can see, it's telling, it, telling us this is the seventh member in the Discord and that everything here worked. So all the URLs, that is our server's icon. 
and the server's name. And then they joined today at 3.56 p.m. And it's 3.56 p.m. So this works for a nice little starting welcome message. Um, I think that is probably all we have time for today. So we will go into some more events in another episode. Probably some more, um, we will get into a mod log eventually. And that will be able to log everything like if you all use Dino in your server, it, all that mod log, those are events. So we will get into more things like that in another episode. So I hope you guys enjoy and keep an eye out for more of these episodes. They should be coming out every other day or so. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to join the Discord in the description.